it's Winnie from Bella Sunshine. I know it's been a while since uh, I've done a video. I am still working on the junk journal January journey. Unfortunately on the second week of January I was uh, extremely exhausted and I didn't feel well and I couldn't film or craft at all that week and I just finally finished the second week and so I'm way behind on this journey, but it's okay. I decided to take my time and not to get stressed out about it. Just do what I can. Since I finished the second week, I wanted to show you guys overall of what I've done for that week. It was just funny to me that on day nine was when I actually disappeared and <laughs> our prompt was um, called hidden. So I'm, I guess I didn't understand the assignment. I'm not supposed to go in hiding. I'm supposed to make something that's hidden in the journal. <laughs> so what I did for that day, you guys, as you guys can see, um, B is getting pretty chunky. Let's take a look at what I made for that day. Moon don't eat the tassel you know and this I thought this was going to be a um, uh, uh, something that was gonna bother me a lot because it I have to constantly move it but I actually am enjoying touching this playing with it seeing it all the time so I love that I made this tassel for this book okay day nine hidden this is what I have hope you guys can see okay so what I did was I made a little note card in here which it looks like it's just a note card but it's actually there is a hidden pocket right there and you can put a little note in there if you wanted a picture whatever you guys want to hide it's in here excuse me moon she makes it difficult and she's trying to bite me. Please don't bite. So the hidden part of this is really on um, over here. You can actually remove this and that's what the page looks like. And this is just a little space you can journal. And that is my hidden place. Um, I don't know, I'm hoping you guys can see. I'll try to do some close up here. Day 10, the prompt is intricate. And this is what I have. I had a die cut. Um, I just used my die cut machine and I just made this and this flower. I think that's pretty intricate here. And I just made a little note card I did keep the picture in here um, that's from the original page and this is just a hidden paper clip and this is just a postcard that I have um, that was floating around my desk. Oh my goodness. And with this um, pocket over here, I did add a plastic behind this thing um, just so the paper that I'm, I'm since I'm using it as a pocket, I want to make sure nothing get caught in between these and ruin the design. So I just put a little plastic in there. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Day 11 is pocket. And I believe I got this idea from Joey DeFee. And the pocket that I made, oh, Moon, I need my, I need B. Moon! My goodness. I'm so sorry. Okay. 
I've tried, this is actually the fifth time that I've tried to film this and on all those films, she was a, a nuisance. So I'm gonna have to make do with what she allows me to do. Here's, <laughs> here's the pocket I made. There's a pocket in here. And you actually open this up and there's another pocket here and I can actually make another pocket here if I wanted to. And of course there is a pocket in here. Then we are on day 12, which is throwback. Um, the throwback, I basically decided I'm gonna do an old artwork that I, I did in high school. I wanted to go ahead and put it in the book. This is what it looks like. This is the artwork that I did in high school. It's made out of copper. All I did was I took a picture of my art and I printed it. When I had it, um, the, pic the color of the copper wasn't coming out. So I ended up having to use my copper um, I don't even know what you call this, but I used it on paper and it worked pretty good. So, um, I think you're supposed to use this on metal, but I used it for paper. And this is what it looks like. There it is. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I hope you guys can see this. I made this in 1993. And I just basically used, like I said, I used this copper with, um, with, I, at first, at first what I did was I was trying to use uh, my finger around just the edges to kind of give you that copper look. And for some reason, I accidentally touched an area of my paper and I was trying to erase it because it was so prominent to the picture was actually ruining the picture. Then I added water or I think I had a paper towel and it was really wet. And as I was moving it, I started noticing the color on the paper. And so I decided, you know what, let me just add some water and put it on the paper. And that's what it is now. I don't know if that made sense at all. I'm, gonna... I'm hoping the camera is doing some justice here. So this is a photocopy and this is the original. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Okay. And of course, I just um, added, this is the opposite of the hidden, um, I just added some uh, note writing area for day 12. For day 13, the prompt is hobbies. And of course, I my hobbies are junk journaling making videos for my YouTube channel, and I also love playing with Legos. I also collect them. So for my page, this is what I have. I did a little bit of junk journaling right here, made a little tag. And this is, uh, I just printed out my YouTube um, header, I believe this is what you call it. Um, and then I also, this is when I started collecting Legos, this particular one, which is the cafe corner actually was retired. So this is the only one that I'm missing out of this series. So I decided to build my own hotel, substituting, uh, pieces that I don't have obviously. And this is what my hotel looked like compared to the original. Day 14, the prompt is from the day. From the day, I actually decided to do from the day that I was inspired to actually going for it, trying to do a junk journal. I watched a lot of videos for months, didn't have the courage to actually do one. Then finally, I did. 
and this page is dedicated to the three golden girls um, which are the three girls that inspired me to start with the junk journal they are natasha from treasure books joey the fee and barbara from 49 dragonflies this is the page that i have for them I made a pocket using book pages and Barbara and Natasha was the one that inspired me to alter, to start with altering a book. And my first, uh, my very first video is actually with this series, The Forgotten Garden. This is actually my reference book. Um, I made all different types of pockets in this book. I will link the, the video below if you guys want to see this. And with this page, I basically named each, um, each pocket based on who showed me how to do it, where, who, 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 not that they invented it, but basically who I saw that made it and I'm going, hey, I like that pocket, let me go ahead and do that. So I had, you know, Barbara's sailboat. I have Natasha's stitch, which is this page. I named this Natasha's stitch. This flower is from Natasha. And this is Barbara's freebie that I got from her coffee page. And at the time, um, Barbara likes to put butterflies um, which I love butterflies so but these little um, thread this is where I picked it up from her uh, and then these are my first tags that I made this is from Joey Defee I watched her and I just basically copied what she did and these were my first 2022 in January I will also link um, any of these videos below if you guys want to see them do this where I got it from. But these are the three ladies that inspired me um, to start doing junk journal. They make it look so fun and easy. I believe that's all I have for now. Um, I am working on week three the third week and as soon as I finish that I will go ahead and put a video until next time guys um, bear with me and I hope you guys are enjoying your journaling for January thank you so much for watching until next time happy crafting mm -hmm.